Good morning, folks. We've got your quick shot of news here. We're starting off looking at the blank disk of 171 angstroms of light coming from the sun. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on our star one of the quieter days here even in the midst of sunspot minimum. Tiny active region turning out on the south, coronal holes confined to the polar regions as one of the departing coronal hole streams is starting to swipe by Earth's magnetic field this morning. Nothing even close to major at this point. Of course, the Disaster Prediction app is watching for geomagnetic storms in case it happens before we meet again. Folks, if you can believe it, there is another kind of weather disaster in India. Drought, major floods, and dust storms. The country is literally under assault from Earth right now. Queensland. So that was a pretty cold front, wasn't it? Good news is it shouldn't last too long. We're looking ahead to tonight where a tropical system off the Philippines coast is gearing to whack the populated regions of the nation. Eyes on that one. And it looks like Barry's energy may try to shift a bit into the Canadian low tonight to the north, flooding possible and isolated areas literally from south to north coast here. And we did see the string of magnitude 6 or higher earthquakes going on with this one at the transitional depth to blood echo range in PNG. Let's take a moment to see something pretty before our top two news stories. This is NGC 1156, found in the constellation of the Ram. High star forming rates in the relatively small and irregular galaxy. Does have a lot of nova shells and a dense core in the middle. Up next, we are finding one of the biggest papers from earlier this year, finally getting into a major journal, Solar Physics. You might recall it was actually just before the February conference we reported this bombshell out of Boulder, indicating that the magnetic fields of the sun are way stronger than what dynamo models allow them to be, and also that such magnetic power might be accessed one day for super flares. Well, if you remember that story that also came out of Boulder more recently this year about a solar super flare concern in the future, same team here, folks. Since Solar Physics does have it paywalled, I've pulled the archive-free version they released in January. It's also a little reminder about the best place to actually find news before it hits everywhere else, sometimes months before. Last but not least, the two Taiwan authors Chen have taken on more co-authors in their search for an electric earthquake forecasting technique. This was eye-poppingly similar to the one we put out in 2015 and 2016, the one we still use today, and which uses the global electric circuit. Folks, there is a reason the government of Taiwan sponsors these guys. There's a reason China and Italy launched the Seismo Electromagnetic Satellite. It's real. Long-wave radiation, pressure, direct current detection, and ion and electron densities, and of course, the tracking of such electrical potential beneath our feet. We call those deep signatures blot echoes. Everything from papers to video learning about how you can predict earthquakes using electricity, too, is at quakewatch.net. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.